So you've got a fancy textured phone skin. You've got the sickest decals on your Leak controller. You've wrapped or painted your car so it looks and definitely drives like a Lambo. But your once fresh and flashy PC looks like a generic pre-built with nothing but boring old LEDs. Well, my vain friend, do we ever have a solution to your supremely first world problem? Now, hydro dipping is nothing new. We're just pretty sure that nobody's ever done it to a $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti before. Speaking of things no one's ever done, no one's ever segued like this. Today's video is brought to you by the iFixit Marlin screwdriver set features five specialty precision screwdrivers held by either a hard or soft wrap case. Check it out today at ifixit.com forward slash Linus. For those of you who aren't familiar with hydro dipping, it's the process of transferring paint to an object using water. Hydro dipping can be achieved with almost any three-dimensional object, whether it's your favorite boring coffee mug that needs revitalizing or a bland set of car alloys that need to look dope for the fast food drive through Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Linus, please. Paint and computer hardware? That sounds like a recipe for definitely success. What can go wrong? Yeah. But hold on guys, unlike some of our previous arts and crafts projects involving paint, this time we won't be relying on a perfect masking job or steady hands because hydro dipping allows an entire object to be coated simultaneously and hopefully evenly for a unique look. So this right here is actually our first attempt at this, a GTX 1060 from ASUS that we used to make sure we were doing it right and to make sure that our orange, black, blue, and white color scheme looked good. For my part, I think it looks awesome. So then it's time for us to do this for real. Step one then, I guess, is clear some space on our trusty Gamers Nexus mod mat and disassemble our RTX 2080 Ti. I've already pre-loosened some of the screws for the back plate here and it was actually one of our new writers who's on trial who did this, so I am surprised to discover that a lot of the other screws are pre-loosened as well. So there you go, the card is basically disassembled. Wow, wasn't that fast? Gamers Nexus, computer disassembly gear, highly recommended. You too can be this fast. This card really looks like it's been taken apart before. Cause like there's some clearly kind of improvised elements to, uh, <laughs> this biz. Thermal pad on top of thermal pad, but only here and here. Like here, it's not like that. No. It just looks like you're struggling to put Fettuccine on a graphics card. Yeah. <laughs> Genuine question. Yep. What is the difference between Fettuccine and Linguini? I think the amount of thickness. Okay. But You know what? I don't know, but that sounds credible enough that I believe you. For our next trick, we need to heat up this plate right here, because Nvidia, in their infinite wisdom, has decided to go the Apple route of sealing up their products with glue rather than with screws. Why they would do this? The problem with heating up something like this is that it's literally a heat sink. Like it's designed to have a lot of thermal capacity, so it takes a while. Neat. Ow. Cool. For our next trick, we'll be removing these four screws, which will allow us to remove this PCB. That's something we don't want to hydro dip because it will ruin it. The next thing we're gonna do is remove these four screws, followed by this one, which will allow us to pop off what? this shroudy doodad, and then pull this ribbon cable out of the part of the cooler that actually makes contact with the GPU itself. So there you have it. That's the actual cooling core of the RTX 2080 Ti. So there's your vapor chamber. There's your fins. 
Cool, we can put that aside. We're done with that for now. We don't want to paint that because that would actually hurt our thermal performance. One thing we definitely need to do is pull these fans off here. The last thing you want is paint in your cooling fans. Quite literally the last thing you want. We seem to have hit a bit of a roadblock here. During the assembly process, NVIDIA routes these cables through kind of small holes, plugs them into this PCB, and then glues them in place. Why they would do this? Once again, we don't know. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> Why? It's just so unnecessary. All right. And of course, the PCB itself is glued in. <laughs> we ain't done yet, folks. So now that everything's completely disassembled, we're just gonna give it a quick wipe down with isopropyl rubbing alcohol, just to make sure that any surface contaminants have been removed. This is just kind of, this is painting basics 101. Just making sure the surface is clean before you try and paint it. Finally, we wanna mask any parts of the card that we don't want to end up with paint on them, such as the thermal pad contact points on the back of the back plate here. And remove any decals that we intend to put back on when we're done. So next is uh, priming, right? Now, as with any good painting project, and even shoddy ones like what we're doing, the key is a good, even coat of primer, so. It's evenish. Remember, kids, lots of thin coats. Don't try and do it with one thick one like what I'm doing right now because my time is limited today. All right, guys, so our primer's dry and it's time for us to apply paint to the surface of the water. Now, I've never done this before, but I'm assured that it's very easy and only a complete idiot could cock it up. So, hopefully I've managed to do it correctly. How close do you get? I'm nervous. I've never painted water before. 15 centimeters. Is that enough? Okay. Okay, and then some, is this white? Sure. Dang it. Okay, and then we're gonna do a practice one with like a stick. Okay, and then this is my stick for shooshing away all the other stuff. Shake it around, shake it off, shake it off, you know. Get my T-Swift. Okay, so definitely needs more white. Needs more white? Yeah. Needs more white. Now you can see this stuff's dry, so this is just a mess. And then when you're, when you're done with that attempt, you just kind of shoosh it over into the side and then you just go again. So what do you think guys? Are we ready to do a piece of the graphics card? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that was not, oh, that was not good. Okay. So then I'm gonna kind of go, okay. And yeah, I can see why people do this outside. Oh boy, oh man. Oh, this one's gonna be just all blue. And my hand's going in. Oh, good. Okay, well, I did say that um, if I couldn't do it, I'm an idiot. Okay, I think if I just go a little lighter with this, I can control the pattern that I'm getting a little bit better. So I just want like a stronger orange street. Okay, that looks pretty cool. That one's not bad. Okay. This is fun. I like arts and crafts. Hmm. Okay, that one I'm a little iffy on. Okay, ready? Here it goes. Thought you covered your eyes there. <laughs> Wouldn't blame you at this point. Oh, I can't get it to go in at an angle. Oh, it's going into my glove. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. <laughs> You're a truly wonderful human being. He is pretty great. Whoa. That's not bad. Mm. Oh. Okay, so we left it overnight, and actually, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of coming around to how it looks. I think this is gonna be pretty sick. 
So the next stage before we can reassemble it is to give it a couple shots of clear coat and then we can put it back together and hope that A, it looks good and B, that card that was not reassembled properly last time even still works at all. So here we are guys, the card is reassembled almost. <laughs> there we go. And I think it looks pretty freaking fantastic. I wasn't sure about that back plate when it was first done, but actually, you know what? It worked out pretty darn well. So the last thing, all that's left then is to find out if it still works. All right, let's press this power button. Hey, it works at least a little. That fan might be dead though. So maybe that fan is just not quite in there. So it's, uh, do you happen to know which one is that fan? There it is. <laughs> hey, 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 nice. It works. Ah, don't, don't celebrate too much yet. We still gotta launch a game or something. So here we are, we're in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, I think the in-game benchmark for this game is actually kind of broken right now, but as long as it runs at all, even if the results aren't reliable, that'll still tell us whether this thing is indeed functional. It's looking pretty smooth there. So that's it then, folks. Hydro dipped RTX 2080 Ti, still working. Freaking fabulous. We're not necessarily recommending that you try this at home, but we will say that it was lots of fun and looks really cool. And you could do it at home. We're just not recommending it. Speaking of things we recommend, checking out our sponsor for today's video. The Neighbors app by Ring. Yep, that's the same Ring that makes video doorbells, is all about helping you stop feeling like you're alone when it comes to your security. It allows you to receive real-time information on what's happening around you from other users. So you can put out an alert if you see something suspicious, like a possible burglar. You can send a notice if you lost something valuable, like your pet. And you can even give or receive a warning if a disaster is coming your way, like a fire or a flood. Ring partners up with local law enforcement to stop crime sprees, and right now it's available in the US only, but more countries are coming soon. Users have full control of what information is made publicly available to protect your privacy from both other users and law enforcement, and it's free to use and download. It's available for Android and iOS today, so go check it out. So thank you for watching. Coming along on our journey with us, guys, if you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video. Just wow, we have to hydro dip a whole case. That would be awesome. Okay, uh, we'll get to that later. Anyway, also linked in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should definitely join. Hydro dip entire case. I mean, what choice do we have now? None really. <laughs> <laughs>